On this special episode of Pimp My Gun, we're going to be using the absolutely broken incendiary rounds on the SPX-80 and the Holger 5.56. Let's go test them out. All right, look, I know the words broken, busted, and overpowered get thrown around a lot when it comes to YouTube videos about weapons in games, but this is truly something I've never seen before because this SPX-80 right here can one-shot a Mega Abomination. Yeah one shot and while i'm upgrading and pack a punching my weapons and throwing on this mag holding shout out to those of you guys that suggested we try these out because truly this is some sh i don't think we'll see again for a long time and if you guys have watched me before you've seen how often i go down regardless of what weapons i'm using and i'm immediately going into tier three because that's just how confident i am in these weapons i'm grabbing this bounty right away and if these triangle things are open i'm going for them oh and on the way look an abomination over here that ain't no problem. First of all, look how this does against tier three zombies. Literally one tapping them like insta kill. And this abomination right here. Go ahead. Shoot a laser. All right. That was a nice fight in you. Literally one shotting. I've never seen anything as busted as this. We thought the under barrel flamethrower was good. That is nothing compared to what's going on right now. And I already know people are going to be saying, why are you making a video on this? They're just going to nerf it now. Look, something as busted to kill a mega abomination in one shot probably going to end up getting nerfed anyways. So this is your PSA. Use these now while you can, because I don't know how long these are going to be up for. And we immediately went to tier three looking for those triangle Easter eggs, and they've already all been taken up. Abomination, how do you feel about that? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Let me uh, put you out of your misery. Just so you guys know, it's not a fluke. This is really just one shots abominations. So last season, it seemed like incendiary rounds were starting to work a little bit more in zombies. Like I tried out the ISO Hemlock. We used the FR Advancer a bit and it looked like the incendiary rounds were working. They were dealing extra damage, but they weren't as crazy as they are now. For whatever reason, at the season four update, these things are just way, way overpowered. They, they overcorrected like crazy. Now, Sledgehammer, if you're listening, hi, how you doing? Um, maybe just tone it down slightly. Obviously something like this crazy. I don't need to have like permanent insta kill on, but don't just put them back in the dirt where they're not usable at all. We have all these different ammo types. Maybe buff some of those up a little bit. N not like as crazy as this is now, but make them usable. I feel like that's a win-win. And if you're wondering why I'm using the Holger 556, not only was this one of the highest recommended weapons I've gotten in a bit, but I would be using the FR Advancer if we didn't just make a video on it right before a season four drop. So I'm pretty sure that with its insane fire rate, is probably one of the best weapons in the game right now with incendiary weapons or incendiary ammo. But I think just about any weapon you throw incendiary ammo on right now can just tear through anything. And this Holger here just has a crazy amount of ammo and is one shot in every single zombie. So it don't even matter. So again, I'm just going to throw it out there. You got any like story missions you ought to do? You got any like red worms you want to kill? Any dark aethers you want to go try to conquer? Now's the time. And speaking of time, is a storm caller here? Because it's your time to die. I, I fumbled a little bit on that line, but it don't matter. I let my gun speak for itself. That's a two shot on the storm caller. The storm caller out of everything. One of the strongest bosses in this game. One shot to break the mask. Another shot to put him to bed. Oh, and shatter blast, just in case you want to be a little bit more OP since I have my dead wire detonators going. It's literally too simple. We lost one bar of our gas mask going in there. I actually cannot believe how stupid this is right now. Oh, and I completely forgot. This is the gun that shoots in two different directions. So it's even better for just like mindlessly spraying into hordes. I don't even know what to do now. We haven't even been in this game for 10 minutes and I've already just killed basically everything I could. I I'm going to start getting all the USBs so we can fight the worm. I wonder if any other ammo types are absolutely busted right now. If you guys have tried out any other ammo types for some reason while these are like super broken let me know if they actually worked because when we tested these back in season one i made a whole video on it of testing them all out with the ars nothing really worked like incendiary damage back then was literally just visual like the zombies lit on fire sometimes oh you know what a really good test for this is this escort contract i always have trouble with this if i don't have a vr11 every time i do an escort contract and I don't have some crazy weapon, nine times out of 10, that ACV is blowing up. I think the biggest threat to this ACV right now is another player coming up and throwing a jug at it. What do you think, Abomination? Oh, didn't, didn't have enough time to think? That sucks. I barely have enough time to think or stutter while I'm insulting these zombies before the gun kills them. It's actually ridiculous. Actually, you know what? To those of you at Sledgehammer watching now, uh, let, me, let me readdress you. Since we're, we're barely getting any content for zombies, we're not even getting any new schematics at Season Reloaded. Let's just keep these. Fuck it. 
Why not? Everybody and their mother is already in tier 3 the second the game starts. Why not uh, make it so everybody, regardless of skill level, can? Who cares? This is a PvE game. I ain't hurt nobody. But I do want to see if I can get this all the way to the finish line at 100%. Oh, I had to say something. The second I say something, they hit it. We'll be at a high percentage. I'm actually so confident for the Dark Aether. I'm so confident for anything. Besides my game actually uh, not crashing. That is something the incendiary rounds cannot protect me against. All these zombies spawning in. Oh, they're going to come stop my ACV. Oh, no. Guess what? They're not even getting past that little portal. It's not happening. I did get a little distracted, though. They're spawning in from other angles. And maybe this isn't the, the layup I thought it was. But we're still at 73% going into the last stop right now. Oh, 69%. I actually meant to do that. Yeah, ain't no way we're losing this contract. Even at only 50%. Me just lazily going through this. This shit's already about to launch. And we have liftoff. I would say easiest contract of my life, but that mega bomb earlier had to be. Wait, what? I never picked up an Outlast contract. Why do I have the icon here? Can I start this? Am I secretly on somebody's team? Nope. Oh, here's the guy. Our, our UIs got crossed. We crossed streams. All right, let's get to collecting these USBs. Someone's got to kill this worm. Oh, whoa. Holy shit. I fucking had to dodge in real life. It was like I was playing in VR. Uh, that fucking Tom and Jerry ass noise I just made. Don't know where that came from. I, I actually feel him for my life. All I wanted to do was get over here and see where the rest of the U USBs are hiding. I didn't want any trouble, Mr. Helicopter. Oh shit, someone's got the same idea. That's two USBs. Actually, hold on. Just out of curiosity. Was this good against Mercs too? Watch them be like super strong against it for some reason. Oh yeah, even the Mercs. They can withstand it a bit better than the zombies. Just gotta shoot for a, a quarter of a second longer. Give me that stronghold key card. Actually, you know what? Let's go take on a stronghold. Maybe we can get the key card to go against the landlord or the, the warlord. Don't don't get any ideas, Cod. You greedy fucks. We don't need a warlord in this game. Or landlord. What did I say? I don't know. These guns are giving me dementia. Taking everybody out. Ops at the party, everybody getting shot. Top 10 scariest bars. Oh, wait, there's a helicopter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is for Kobe. It was not that strong. I, I've seen I've seen faster. I was also very out of pocket. These guns got me acting up. Let's start getting this open. What's the sniper doing against this heli? Oh, I was hoping it would one shot. Two shots, not bad though. Give me that warlord key card. Who's the warlord? Dokabi? Oh, she's already dead for sure. If Dokabi's fortress is there, somebody's immediately doing the trick to get in there and killing her every time. But we'll go check her out. Go see what she's up to. If she's still alive by the time we get around to that side of the map. And there's USB number three. Just need one more. Oh, Dokabi, are you still alive? I got the key to your crib, but I'm still going in through the window. The turrets are going off. Oh, there's zombies over here. Yeah, I think somebody might have gotten to her. That's unfortunate. But it's not like I haven't one shot her before. Anyways, this should be our last USB. Give me that. Now we just play the waiting game. We got about a minute till the storm comes in. Then we actually have a rift right over here for a fast exit if we need one. I can't wait to see what these can do against it. I I'm having trouble choosing between wanting to use this, like our Holger, or actually using our SPX-80. I feel like I'm going to try the SPX-80. We've used it against every boss so far. We, we got to see what it does against him. And here comes the storm. It's only a matter of time, worm. Here's the storm. Let's get these activated. That should be all of them. All the zombies are going towards the middle. He's almost here. Come on, worm. All the times you've beat my ass, it's time for me to get my revenge. How much damage are we doing? Is your health bar even showing up? Ooh, it's actually not a whole lot. Oh, wait, no, there we go. We just need to get under his skin a little bit. Yeah. You like that? Go underground. So not as much damage as I thought, but that's still a lot. I think I've uh, I've already been spoiled by these. Any, any weapon is going to feel awful after using this. Yeah, go ahead and try to eat me. You want a piece of this, huh? If you can't beat them, eat them, or whatever the saying is. But I think our Holger deserves a shot now. Let's Aether Shroud on him. Get right under his gills. Oof. Already got him to half health. Oh, if we can just hit the, the nice crit there, if he stops moving so much, we can take him out easily. Look at that. Already less than half. Let's get these orbs out of here so we can stop healing. There you go. You get one, one more taste of greatness, pal. Oh, and I'm doing damage from inside, too. I'm in them guts. I actually thought ahead for my stupidity. I already knew I was going to forget to fix my gas mask, so I brought in two. 
We're on to our second deluxe ga gas mask. Oh, okay. All right, you got one down. That's it. You're already almost dead, so it don't matter. That was a charity down. This should do it right here. Night, night, buddy. See you later. Whew. What an easy fight. Why don't you die a little bit faster so I can get my reward and go to the Dark Aether, please? Anything good for me? Refined crystal, a skull, don't care. Oh, wow, and a green gas mask. Thanks. All right, now let's try to make it to the Dark Aether. Through the rift we go. And just for our idiot tax, I'm gonna get a few self-revives real quick. These guns are busted, but so is my brain. Dark Aether, here we come. All right, escort contract. I'm done getting bullied around by you two. We're getting payback on everything that just messes me up in this game. Let's get it going. But if our warm-up escort contract in tier three let us know anything is that this is still probably going to take a bit of damage and I still need to actually try my hardest on this. You can see how hard I was trying to get that sentence out. But it should make it easier that we can kill these disciples or whatever elites got nukes in them. So they go down almost instantly. These zombies are still insta-kill in the Dark Aether, by the way. Those were affected by the nuke, but these ones aren't. Just for a little further proof. Actually, since this thing shoots in two directions, is there a safe distance I can get where I can shoot just on the outside of it? So as long as something's not going behind it... We, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking too hard about this. Let's just shoot things. I'm trying to be big brain, but that's that's not me. Okay, all right. We, we, we suffered a down, unfortunately. Oh, but we found a cashmere on the ground. I always say whenever we do this, obviously this is way easier with uh, VR11, and it would be stupidly broken to use a VR11 on top of this. But you're literally bringing the VR11 in just for this contract. But now that these incendiary rounds are this busted, no VR11 needed. Just a little bit of uh, leg work. By that, I mean just actually paying attention to the ACV a little bit, which I am not doing the greatest job of. I swear if I still fail this, I'm going to be pissed. But I won't be surprised. I won't be mad. I'll just be disappointed. Come on, just one more stop. And we're at 43%. We should be able to do it. Emphasis on should. Here we go. The last stand. Okay, I'm throwing a cashmere. I'm being safe. I'm being safe. We already finished. It's super suck. Throw another cashmere just for fun. Not because I'm scared or anything. Haha. -ha. Okay, maybe one more. Now launch already before I have time to make a mistake. Please. Thank you. Okay, we, we made it all the way through. Might have gotten down to 24%, but you know, who's counting? As long as we get it done, that's what matters, right? All right, let's start up our bounty. Give me that. Abomination, where are you? I'll make this quick, quick and painless. The most humane way to kill you. Here, let me, let me just tickle you a little bit. There you go. You're shooting the wrong way, but that's okay. You're not gonna be along long enough to figure that out. Nothing for that one. I don't know what I'm expecting. At least scratch my back a little bit, game. Maybe a, a legendary Aether tool or something, you know? Butter me up. Grease me up. Oil me up. Do something. Last contract. Let's get it started. I don't even think I need to use a cashmere or a molly or anything right here. I definitely will if I start to get scared and panic, but... I'm just walking around shooting. Ain't no problem. Everything is just going down instantly. This is so good, dude. This is like the ultimate crowd control weapon now. And that's the contract. Anything good in here? Uh, I guess I'll take that gas mask. I'll just immediately equip it. All right, Disciple. You got no idea the world of hurt you're in for. Once I break all these spores, you're done. Honestly, you know what? Once I kill this boss, I can probably just farm zombies in here for a bit since everything's dying so easily. And I can just get like hours off my schematic cooldowns. I'm going to do that. Now, once we open up this rift heart, I'm going to try to kill him before he can even spawn his buddies in. So there we go. It's broken. Disciple. Stay still. Broken mask. Broken face. Let's go. Two shot kill on him. Not even a problem. Yep. This is definitely getting patched. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. I tell you what. Well, we literally killed him in less than 30 seconds. So uh, zombies going to spawn in or what? Maybe I should have kept them alive. It's usually a madhouse. There's literally no zombies now. They're all scared. They said, did you see that shit? He just killed our boss in two shots. I'm staying home. I'm playing Fortnite. Oh, wait, here's a guy. No way. Are they all going to funnel up to me in this one spot? Not only is this spot like insanely OP, 
or like the, one of the main spots in MW2 ranked. But now it's the main spot for just grinding out kills. This is awesome, dude. Non-stop kills, non-stop points. I wouldn't say it's non-stop, actually. The spawns kind of, they, they do stop for a little bit and then they, they pick up again. Intermediate spawns, I'll say. All right, we're starting to cut it close and I think I've slapped these zombies around for long enough. Once this double points is over, I'm leaving. So we're already almost at like 80,000 points. I don't even know how many kills. I hope it's a lot. And I hope it takes a good chunk off of our schematics. All right, Dark Aether. It's been fun. I'm getting out of here. We had almost 3,000 kills. 78 mercenary kills, three boss kills. Made it out with 100,000 XP in five hours. Oh, <laughs> first schematics. That is ridiculous. There you have it. I think this attachment kind of speaks for itself. You can literally do anything you want and basically be invincible. Take down anything with ease in this game. But do it while supplies last because I'm sure this is going to get patched sometime soon. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.